Hello, and welcome to me talking about week three of the Pokemon Castelia Draft League. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about my opponent for week three of this uh, tournament, uh, the team that he has, the team that I prepared for him, and then the battle between us is going to follow after that. So, my opponent for this week is Forza, coach of the Vinkaveen Vivalons. You can see their team logo here, it's very nice, very cute. And he has a very, very scary team. <laughs> like, genuinely, like this has been a really difficult one for me to prepare for. Uh, but yeah, enough about, yeah, I'll, I'll speak about his team. Tornadus, Mega Charizard X, Skarmory, Florges, Raikou, Hoopa. Tyranitar, Amoongus, Alomomola, Hitmonlee, Sandslash, and Stoutland. So you'll notice up here at the top he has a bunch of offensive threats. Mega, uh, Charizard X, Tornadus, Raikou, Hoopa. Hoopa only at 6 points by the way, which I think is very interesting. And uh, a couple of defensive Pokemon, Skarmory, Floridry. So you're looking at that already thinking, okay, scary and standard. And then all of a sudden he shifts into a sand mode. A sandstorm mode with Tyranitar, Sandslash, and Stoutland, uh, and also Amoongus, Hitmonlee, and Alomomola. Uh, so this is a very fun team. I like how I like how he just randomly has a Tyranitar and then Sandslash and Stoutland. Uh, but it's it's nothing to scoff at, obviously. Like these two, these, those are two Pokemon that get d d double their um, speed when they're under sand. And then of course Amoongus and Alomomola. That is two Pokemon with Regenerator, which is evil. And Hitmonlee can also double its speed with its ability on Burden. Um, so yeah, very scary team overall. Uh, and I will... But I've concocted something interesting for his team. And I think it might be able to put in work against it. So I'll go over it now. First Pokemon, uh, Terrakion. Uh, Terrakion returns for week 3. And the main thing about this is... Um, the main idea with this is Lead Focus Sash. To get up Stealth Rock or get off a Taunt, and then uh, essentially what this is meant to do is it's supposed to lead, set up Stealth Rock, and then die. That is its whole goal. Um, I have Stone Edge in close combat for offense, uh, offensive coverage, and Taunt in case I want to stop anything uh, a different like lead trying to set up hazards on me, something like Skarmory trying to set up spikes or Tyranitar trying to set up. Um, stealth Rock, I can just click Taunt on them, and then they cannot do that anymore, and then I can get up my Stealth Rock. And of course, I can also just hit hard with my moves if I really want to. Uh, so yeah, sim simple set for Terrakion, but it should be effective. Uh, second Pokemon on the team, uh, Gliscor, making her return. Uh, I think, yeah, yeah, she, she's been, yeah, okay. Um... Toxic Orb, Toxic Heal, standard. Earthquake, Knock Off, Taunt, Roost. Again, all very standard again. Taunt, just again, just to prevent anything from trying to set up spikes or hit a Toxic on me. If Floor just tries to set up with Calm Mind, or if Aloma Mola tries to use Wish and Mugus tries to use Spore, stuff like that, we can just stop them from doing that entirely. Knock Off to remove items, Roost to heal, Earthquake for damage. And I'm doing a more especially defensive set this week. Uh, so yeah, that's Gliscor, third Pokemon on the team. Gastrodon. Gastrodon's back. I'm using a Rocky Helmet set this time around, which is fun. I'm using Scald, Earthquake, Toxic, and Recover for damage. For, da uh, for, for, for damaging moves, Scald and Earthquake um, uh, does alright. And then Toxic is to whittle down the bulkier Pokemon, like Florges or Tyranitar or a Lomomola. Uh, of course, a lot of these things do get Heal Bell or Aromatherapy or some way to remove status conditions, but I still think Toxic is valuable on this team, on this move, on this Pokemon. Sorry. So we're going with that. Um, I went with a little bit of a mix between physical and special bulk. I'm a little bit more on the physical bulky side, but I've got a little bit of special defense as well. And a little bit pumped into attack and special attack just to confirm kills or confirm two hit KOs on some things like uh, two hit KO Mega Charizard X or like Raikou or something like that. Uh, so yeah, that's Gastrodon. Uh, the f then the fourth Pokemon on my team, Gardevoir. Gardevoir making his first appearance in this, and yes, I said his. I said his. 
Uh, I, I am using male Gardevoir because due to the nickname, uh, you might be maybe you'll be able to figure it out. But um, yeah, and it's also a Star Wars reference, so that's fun. But anyway, I'm using a physically defensive set with Gardevoir with Psychic Moonblast, Heal Bell, and Thunder Wave. I have Thunder Wave to spread paralysis across the team for things like Tornadus and Charizard and maybe even like Hoopa. And of course a Loma Mola too. Uh, well, I, 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 pretty much everything here that doesn't like isn't immune to it because the fast Pokemon it slows down and the slow Pokemon that are bulky and like to just sit on the field for a long time they might get a chance to just not move because of paralysis. And I have Heal Bell to remove um, Stats conditions on my own side of the field because Amoongus using Spore, Alomomola using Toxic, stuff like that will be nice to be able to remove from the field. And Psychic and Moon Blast are good coverage moves. Uh, leftovers just to heal up at the time um, because I don't have any other way of healing with this. I could have used a Wish, but I feel like uh, all the other moves, all the other moves on this were too valuable for me, not not to use. So yeah. Uh, physically bulky Gardevoir is very is a very cool set, I think, so I'm hoping it does well. So that was Gardevoir. Fifth Pokemon on the team. Ludicolo. Also making his debut. Nicknamed Julian. Uh, because he likes to move it, move it. As you can see. He's dancing around. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Ludicolo. With Swift Swim and Leftovers. And Swift Swim, you, why Swift Swim? Because I have Rain Dance. And I want to double my speed so that I can outspeed things like Tornadus and Raikou. So that I can be faster than you and I can heal with Giga Drain first. So you can't kill me. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and another physically bulky set because of things like um, uh, Charizard and Tyranitar. Just lets me handle those a little bit better. And I have a little bit pumped into special attack just to improve my chances of killing or just dealing big damage to things. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Rain Dance Ludicolo might seem a bit odd, but it's also nice because it will remove the um, uh, the uh, sandstorm that Tyranitar might like to set up. So that is part of the reason I wanted Rain Dance, and it's also just because I have to I Rain Dance and get Swift from up. Not only. Is that after I rain dance, not only will I will my surf be boosted so I do more damage, but Swift Swim will also be doubling my speed. So this is just nice to have. Um, another fun set, and I like Ludicolo a lot, so I hope it gets the pain mark. And then the sixth and final Pokemon on the team, Mega Sableye. Um, Mega Sableye making third, making her third appearance, as expected, I'm sure. Knock off, Sucker Punch, Will O Wisp, and Recover. Um, and it's fully specially defensive to deal with things like Torrid because I didn't have an amazing specially defensive tank before this, so I decided to do this so I can better handle like Tornadus or Raikou or something like that. Um, and yeah, every move here is pretty standard, I would say. Sucker Punch lets me pick off something that's low HP as well, which is nice. It might not come in terribly useful, but I think it could. Uh, be nice if I manage to get something done to low HP because I have a lot of Pokemon that just like to chip down the opponents. So getting a, getting just a quick finish off on it with Sucker Punch would be quite nice, I think. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, that is my team for week three of the Castelia Draft League. Uh, Terrakion, Gardevoir, uh, Gastrodon, Ludicolo, Mega Sableye, and Gliscor. Uh, so yeah, that's the team. It's a very fun one. I'm using two Pokemon that I haven't used before, and I'm using very fun sets on both of them. So I'm hoping it goes well. Oh, and the other and the set I'm using on Terrakion is an interesting one too. So I'm looking forward to seeing it in action and seeing how I can uh, work with it. Uh, so that'll be that, and I will cut to the battle when that begins. Okay, we've challenged our opponent, and now we're just gonna wait for him to accept it. There we are. Okay. I don't feel ter I don't feel terribly confident about this, but um, hopefully we can pull uh, pull off something. Uh, you know, we just have to wait and see. We'll see what he has here now. A Loma Mola, Florges, Mega Charizard X, Tyranitar, Hitmonlee, and um, 
Stagland. Okay. A bunch of Pokemon that I expected, but I did not expect to see Stoutland, and uh, Hitmonlee is interesting as well. Uh, but it's cool to see them. I uh, can't mess this up. I, I'm just writing down all the Pokemon and stuff, getting my notes down. Um, Hitmonlee and Stoutland. Okay, uh, we're just going to lead off with um, Terrakion as we planned on doing, and then we go. I have something to keep me hydrated throughout. Okay. Oh, here we are. Okay. Different music from what we usually get. Cool. Alright, let's see what happens here. Here's Marie, that's the Floges, yep, okay. Shiny Floges, very nice. Very pretty. As he... gets pretty good. Um, does this learn Magic Coat, is my question. Uh, let's find out now. It does learn Magic Coat. Okay. Regardless of that, I probably am still gonna click it. Click, I'm probably am still gonna click Stealth Rock here. Although I guess there's no harm in just going for Stone Age and then going for Stealth Rock after. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Let's go for Stone Edge and then we go for Stealth Rock. We miss. Use Calm Mind. Ah. Okay. I'm really wishing I hit that for a Stone Edge. Um, we're just gonna go for it again because we can't let this set up. Please hit. There we go. How much are we doing to this? Just under 50%, unfortunately. We brought down to our focus sash. The crit didn't matter. Crit never matters there. There's leftovers. Okay. And... Now, do I go for damage here? I can go for damage here, and then I can switch to... Glyscore to finish it off. Yeah. How much does Glyscore actually do to it, though? Uh, it does a decent chunk to it. It might not kill it, but I think it's specially defensive. We've got to go for it. We're not going to get up Stealth Rock this game, but I think the damage on this is more important. If he goes for Wish or something here... That would be annoying. Okay. Synthesis. Okay. That's really bad. Um... I'm already not feeling very great about this. Um... We can hope for a crit. I think, <laughs> obviously that's not really how I want to play. Of course I could also click Taunt to prevent it from healing. That might have been a good idea, but it's too late for that now. Um, no, I think we just have to go for more damage. We missed. Okay. Oh, he went for Synthesis again though. 
missing that stone age was very unfortunate though. Um, yeah, I don't know what we can do again. Um, I suppose I have to switch, after I let this go down I have to switch to Gastrodon and use Toxic on it. Do my best to whittle it down. Hmm. I wish I predicted this was like a calm mindset. I could have clicked Taunt on it and then it would have been less of a problem. But, um... This is just how it's turned out. Obviously I'm definitely probably not playing this in the, my, the best way I possibly can. We went for calm mind again. Maybe I should be clicking Taunt here, but I keep expecting it to attack and then I fear that I miss out on uh, free damage. So I'm going to go for another Stone Edge here. If we get a crit, then we finish this off. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm just hoping for crits at this point. Like, it's, it, like, like this is bad. Maybe I should, should have taunted here in case he tried to... Yep. Yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. Should have known that was going to happen. I should have taunted there. Should have taunted there because it was very obvious what he was going to be trying to do. We'll go for another Stone Edge. Maybe this time, maybe hopefully he goes for another Calm Mind. Moon Blast, okay. Well, that's very unfortunate. Um, we have not played this well at all. This is really bad. This is really, really bad. We've played this very badly. Uh... This is not looking good. And I can't find my right Gastrodon set. There we go. Um, the last move on this is probably Heal Bell too. So I can't even like... Um, Toxicate. That would be pretty good for him. And I wouldn't be surprised if I just wasn't going to be able to beat this. Um, could try to paralyze it, but I don't know. I don't think I've. <laughs> I don't think any. I don't. Th I think I'm in a really bad spot right now. It's either Gastrodon or it's um, Gliscor here. Both eat at least one hit. I'm gonna go to Gliscor and I'm gonna click Taunt. I really wish I had clicked Taunt on, on this with Terrakion earlier. But I'm doing it now. Rectifying my mistakes now. Okay, the last move on this could also be Hidden Power Fire to prevent, uh, to kill Ter um, Ferrothorn. It might not have Heal Bell. But we'll see. Oh man, I'm really annoyed at myself. I could have played this a whole lot better. It's a really bad start to the battle. We didn't we didn't get up our stealth rock and we let this floor just set up for free. Just goes for Moon Blast. Special attack falls, doesn't matter. Oh, this is gonna. <laughs> it's not a great battle, huh? Um, just knock it off. Just remove its item to prevent it from healing further. Okay. Oh, definitely playing this incredibly poorly. Uh, I'm quite disappointed in myself, actually. This is a really big shame. Um...
I don't even think this taunt's gonna last long enough for me to kill it, either. Oh, I'm really annoyed at myself, actually. This is... this is really bad. I'm really annoyed at myself. <laughs> um... I wish I'd brought something with, like, Dragon Tail or Roar or Whirlwind, anything like that. Because setup sweepers were something that I knew were going to be a problem going into this fight as well. Taunt already wore off, so he's just going to... He's just going to heal it back up and there's nothing I can do, is so. there? This is just going to... This is actually just going to sweep me. This is absolutely horrific for me. Oh, it's actually abysmal. Um... I've already poisoned it as well, so I can't even, like... Um, you know, I can't even paralyze it. Yeah, aroma, he has aromatherapy. That makes sense. I knew it was going to be something like that. Yeah, I don't think I can ever, like, I actually don't think I can ever kill this now. Because this just has constant healing with synthesis. It can get rid of any, um, it can get rid of anything, like, um, toxic with... Um, aromatherapy. That's a shame. Like, Ferrothorn actually completely walled this. As well. That's a shame. I wish I'd brought Ferrothorn now. Um, but yeah, I don't think I can't beat this. Not at this point. Uh, this is going for more Calm Minds. I fear that this is just going to be f us t slowly trying to chip away at Florges and it's slowly taking us down. I genuinely don't think there's anything I can do against it here. This has been an absolutely horrific game for me. Like, g genuinely terrible. I'm very, dis very disappointed in myself, honestly. I could have played a whole lot better than this. Could have built a much better team etc etc oh I just was not if we get a crit here we might have a chance nope okay but he's kinda but what does he do now did he just kill me no what yeah, what does he do now actually though synthesis okay but I'm doing damage to you and the poison's gonna take you down a decent chunk I think he might have tried to set up a bit too much. He's gonna die to poison. And he's gonna the combination of poison and earthquake is gonna kill him here. I think he realizes that. I think uh no, let's just go for earthquake, because if he hits me with Moonblast here, I just die. He withdrew actually, okay. I really thought that was just gonna be a floor just sweep there. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Leftovers on this too. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just. Okay, this game isn't actually over yet. Surprisingly. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, it probably is over to be fair, but um. Here, toxic this or do I no because this can't do any damage to me this is just trying to toxic me and I do have guard of wire to prevent that and 
I can't. I don't think I can go to you just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Sableye, and I'm gonna Mega Evolve and click Knock Off here, regardless of what he tries to do. And then I might get a chance to switch into um, Gardevoir and get off Aromatherapy. And then we're chilling. Let's try this. He didn't switch out actually, he's just going for damage here, that's fine. Evolve. And we are going to go for Scald, fair enough. Does nothing. We are fully specially defensive. Okay, we knock off his leftovers, so no more of that. Of course, he can't just heal when he switches out due to a uh, regenerator, but at the very least, we have a way to uh, mitigate that a bit. Let's go to Gardevoir here, see what he decides to do. Okay. Oh, I made the Gardevoir wrong, the wrong <laughs> typing. It's meant to be the wrong, um, oh, okay, knockoff. Okay. I made Gardevoir the wrong gender. It's supposed to be male, but oh well. That's why the nickname was It's a Trap, but it's fine. Okay, heal bell here. Yeah, I expected that. I think I should have gone for Moonblast first there. But, yeah, no, I should have gone for Moonblast first there. Because now we're just using... Um, Because now we're just using Heal Bell again, but it's fine. Should have gone for Thunder Wave first, though, but it's okay. Um, okay, Wish. Yeah. Uh, what, what have we seen on this, actually? We've seen Scald, Wish, Toxic, and probably Protect is its last move, I would imagine. Okay, we've got the Heal Bell. Remove that our poison. As this goes for what scald, maybe it doesn't have protect then. Well, I still wouldn't be surprised if it did. Oh, we got burned. Okay, great. I'll tell you what. I'll switch out here. So we have Regenerator, so when we switch out here, we're actually going to heal, which is nice. And this is annoying, actually, because we can't, <laughs> we can't switch out. I'm sorry, no, we can switch out. It's just that we're just going to get toxic by anything that we try to switch out to, because we don't have... Um, So this just kind of sucks. We can't really do anything to this Aloma Mola. Well, whatever, we'll give Ludicolo a shot. <clears throat> we burned just here, that's great. Okay, getting burned there is actually amazing. Because that means that we're no, we don't, that means that we're no longer being, um, we can't get toxic. Even though we're going to be taking burn damage, we will at least heal some of it back with, um, our... Okay, let's go for a rain dance here. We're at least going to be healing a little bit of it, um, every turn with our left... Yeah, okay. Even though we're taking burn damage every turn, we're healing a little bit back from leftovers. Never mind, not anymore. <laughs> uh, that's okay. We have Giga Drain to heal as well. Of course, you can't just switch out into something that doesn't take much damage from grass moves, but um, 
I'm going for something des- I'm going for desperate- I'm desperate here, okay? Um... Yeah. So obviously this battle isn't exactly going splendidly. <laughs> he's definitely gonna switch out here, by the way, that he's um, taking his time to think about stuff. Um... But... Yeah, no. I uh, choked very hard on the floor just so unfortunately this just wasn't after the I don't know I, I really badly I didn't I didn't prepare for set up Pokemon at all even though it was something that I knew was a problem for me I should have brought something with whirlwind or roar or something like that but I just didn't and that's my fault so I'll need to be more mindful and be more careful when preparing in the future because this game's uh, been Terrible. This is Tyranitar probably coming in here actually. To prevent the, to stop the rain. That sounds like Tyranitar. Oh no, okay. So it kicks a lot, that makes sense actually. Hitmonlee. Air Balloon Hitmonlee. Ooh. That's very fun actually, I like that a lot. Uh, this is gonna be Poison Jab, isn't it? This is gonna be Poison Jab Hitmonlee. I bet you. Uh, let me see though. Versus Lidicolo. Uh, how much does... Yeah, Poison Job does probably just... Kill us. High jump kick also just kills us. Uh, let's switch right here. Let's go to Sableye. If he goes for high jump kick, he takes a ton of damage. If he goes for poison job, that just does no damage. Plus combat, does nothing. And uh, now, do I recover here? Or do I Will O Wisp? I'm gonna Will O Wisp in case the floor just comes in here. Stone Edge, okay. Hit it, nice. Burn the Hitman Lee. Okay, let's heal up. Uh, if the floor just comes in here, I'm gonna be ruined. <laughs> oh no. If the floor just switches in, it's gonna be, we're gonna be in big trouble. And it probably is switching in too. He's, th he's thinking, he's, gonna, he's probably gonna be switching it in here. Oh no. The recovery on the Sableye will mean nothing if Flo just switches in here, because then when it switches in, it just clicks Synthesis. Yep. Flo just is gonna come in here, isn't it? Oh, it didn't, actually. Okay. The Charizard came in. Interesting. Rune stopped. Ah. Uh... Switch to Gastrodon. He's probably going for Dragon Dance here, but I think we live one Dragon Dance boosted Dragon Claw. Unless he's going for uh, Outrage, that would be a problem. Also, if he just straight up uh, attacks here, we're going we're gonna to be in bad shape. No, he went for Dragon Dance, okay. Straight up went for Dragon Dance, that's fine. Let's go for Earthquake. We might live- if it's Dragon Claw, we live one. Okay. Nice. Get Rocky Helmet Ship. This isn't gonna kill it, but it's gonna be doing massive damage. Or even just killing it. Straight up killing it. Oh, it was a crit. Oh no. So that critical hit did matter. Unfortunately. 
Without that critical hit, we probably did not kill. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, the crit. With the crit, we did kill with the crit, yeah. Uh, without the crit, we did around about uh, 60 to 70 percent. So, yeah, no, the crit, crit mattered 100 percent. And this is going for retaliate, I bet. So let's switch to Sibylla. If this is Retaliate, that's really cool. Player off. Oh, he, he predicted me, but I dodged the attack. More hacks, unfortunately. Uh... Okay. I would very much like to find out more about this Stoutland before I switch out, or do whatever, or make my move here. But I, quite fortunately from that, I can't... Um, I can't deduce too much. I wish I knew how much HP the floor just was on. I know it was weak, but I don't know, I can't remember how weak it was. Um... That's doing a lot of damage, wow. I'm gonna knock off here, just... He withdrew, okay. If Lord just switches in here and managed to get the kill on it, that'll be very nice, okay. Come on. Kill. Oh wait, yeah, no, after the poison, this is dead. Okay, we killed it even without that, that's fine. Okay. Florges is also dead. We managed to kill Florges and, um... And the Charizard. That's fun. We're doing a lot better now. I think we we are, we have we have gotten lucky, of course. We like the Stoutland miss missing player off there, and the floor and the um, what was it called? The uh, Gastrodon getting a crit on the Charizard was uh, important, but. Uh, still. There he is. It's Darude. Oh, Darude. Sandstorm by Darude. That's an amazing name. I love that nickname so much. That's really, really clever. I'm a big fan of that name. Okay. And now... We can't do a whole lot against this, actually. Um, let's think here, though. I think if we switch in Gastrodon, get up... Uh, so if we sacrifice Gastrodon here, and then... Yeah, if we sacrifice Gastrodon here and then switch to Ludicolo to get up Rain Dance, he'll be threatened and he'll want to switch out. And from there, I think we can do some stuff, some fun stuff. Um, I could also sacrifice Gardevoir, but because that's probably not going to be doing a whole lot more of this game. question is, do we, will, will we have the chance to use Recover with Gastrodon again? I don't think so, so I think I'm... Oof. Oh no, this is difficult. No, I think I have Sarkar's Gastrodon here. Gastrodon is a good counter to a Loma Mola, but uh, if we don't have Gardevoir, then we can't beat it, because it'll just toxic us. Ancient Power. Oh. Okay. We lived. Alright. Let's go for a cover here. Okay, it's my French from power again. If he gets the boost here, uh, that's going to be terrifying. Uh, I don't think it got the boost. 
No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. We got in Ludicolo. It's rain dance. We're gonna remove the sandstorm. Okay, what's he doing here? Stealth rock. Okay, nice. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, let's go for Giga Drain. Okay. We withdrew into what? Hitmonlee or Stoutland, probably. Yeah, it's the Hitmonlee, okay. That's fine. Means we're gonna get some healing. Okay. And another one does, in fact, kill. So we're gonna get a chance to get off another Giga Drain, heal a little bit more HP. Oh, it definitely kills after that, yeah. Uh, let's go for Giga Drain. Oh, you might have Mac Punch, actually. If he has Mac, if he has Mac Punch here, that would be a really good bring. That wouldn't, I probably, it wouldn't kill me, I don't think, but it would do a, it would do a good chunk. No, it doesn't, okay. Okay, we kill this too. Okay, so Hitmonlee is no longer alive. It's just Lomomola, Tyranitar, and Stoutland. Ludicolo can maybe pull this off. If we can get in Gardevoir and use Heal Bell and get another chance to set up Ludicolo, I don't think we're going to get up another, get another chance for Ludicolo here, though. I think Ludic this is where Ludicolo isn't going to be able to do as much. Yeah, he switches back in uh, Tyranitar here. And yeah, under sand we cannot do much damage to this at all. Yeah, no, we are doing baby damage to this, we're doing no damage to this at all. Uh, an idea is probably to switch to Gardevoir here and go for Thunder Wave stuff. It's not the best idea, but um, I think we have to be careful if we're going to be able to do stuff. If we're going to be able to actually do stuff here. Actually have a chance to win. We trace Sandstream, which does nothing. He goes for Ancient Power. He's just going to keep going for these. And I can live with that. God of War is not going to live, though. Most unfortunately. The question is, do we... Yeah, no, I think I have to... I think I should probably paralyze... Uh, do I paralyze Tyranitar here, or do I go for Heal Bell to... No, I'm going to paralyze the Tyranitar here. Okay. We are going to lose Gardevoir here. Okay, no Omni Boost again, please. Please, don't boost yourself. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh no. I can't even. I haven't even been calculating how much damage this has been doing to me. Uh oh. I don't know if I live another hit or not. I think at this point it's over. Uh, no, that's the wrong Pokemon. Uh, yeah, we're looking at the right one. Um, <laughs> um, we can hope that he gets paralyzed. And I think that's about as best as we can do. Please don't get paralyzed. I'm sorry, sorry, no, please do get paralyzed. If you get paralyzed here, that, I, would, I, I would like that very much. Please get paralyzed. Yes, okay. That's incredible. That's really good. Nice. <laughs> okay, Giga Drain for as much as much health as we can get. Of course, he is just going to switch this out and then let something die and then switch this back in and then, I'll know, then I'm going to be screwed. We have to hope for just more paralysis um, hacks 
If we can get enough paralysis on this, then we do have a chance. Being burned, of course, is not very appealing, but I think we can possibly outheal all that damage. But let's see. Stoutland might live a Giga Drain plus a Surf, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, he switched out to be expected. He sends out his dog. His lovely dog. Yeah, I think I don't think we're gonna be able to. No, Surf is not gonna knock this out. The only way that Surf knocks us out is if we critical hit here. So let's go for it. <laughs> Come on. A little bit more chat, I beg you. No. Okay. Okay, I think I, I don't think we have a chance of winning now. Okay, we'll take a little bit of stealth work damage here. If he attacks here... Okay, we're gonna go for Sucker Punch here, because I think he might just go for Play Rough damage. If he doesn't, then, uh, whoopsie. Okay, we got the kill. Nice. Stoutland dies. And... Now it's just Aloma Mola and Tyranitar. We cannot deal any damage to Tyranitar whatsoever, and uh, Alomomola can just heal up as well. Prepare for a very, very fun end game here, guys. Bonk. You know, actually, if we get lucky enough, we can we can just win due to paralysis, but we would have to get very, very lucky. Like, incredibly lucky. An insane amount of lucky, so... Uh, this is going to be a long end game, but we're just going to play it out and see what happens. Okay, nice paralysis. Can I get like four more of those, please? Okay, let's start. Let's keep going. Okay. We probably need like, we need more than four, uh. Go. Come on, Sableye. Two more. No, okay. Oh, uh, okay. We can't stop that. Uh, get a crit here. Get a crit here, though. Get a crit. Come on, get a crit, get a crit, get a crit. Not quite. Okay. Unfortunate. Imagine we got one more paralysis there. It would have been over. For the Alomomola, at least. I think even after Alomomola goes down, we can't beat Tyranitar. But yeah. Uh, this can set up on us longer than we can set up on it, so. Sorry, no, this can outlast, this can outlast us. Uh, for sure. So we are just gonna, um, I'm just gonna accept defeat here. I'm not gonna forfeit, I'm gonna keep playing. I don't think I even, I'm not sure, even sure if I can forfeit here. But, um, we're not going to, we're just gonna keep playing it out. Oh no, we can forfeit, but it's, it's fine, we're just gonna keep playing it out. So yeah, that was a much closer game than I expected. I definitely think he, um, that Forza choked. Uh, oh, we got burned, I didn't even notice. Um, I do think that Forza may have choked when he didn't, uh, when he went for the fourth Calm Mind. I don't know, I think he went for two Calm Minds against my Gastrodon. And that was a, that was a bad play to make because then he put himself in a position where he was going to get 
crit. Um, what am I on about? Sorry. I'm, I'm yabbering. I'm yabbering and I'm not making sense. Um, yeah, he misplayed with the Floridus because he tried to set up too many calm mines and he ended up racking up too much damage from Toxic and Earthquake to live anything. Um, but in the end, it seems it didn't really matter. At the very least, we got to rack up a good differential, and we lasted a lot longer than I thought we would, so that's quite nice. But, yeah, we are just going to lose here, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just, just going to keep going, though. We're going to keep chipping away, we're going to keep seeing what happens. If we get lucky enough, if they get paralyzed enough times, we have a chance. But, um... The chances of that happening are very slim. Imagine if we'd gotten like another paralysis on that Loma Mola when it was that low health. If we had gotten one more, that would have been it. Like it actually would have just lost right then and there. Uh, well, they, he wouldn't have lost, but the Loma Mola would have fainted, and then it would have just been the Tyranitar we'd have to get through. Our, our odds would have been much better. They would have been, our, our odds wouldn't have been, you know, our odds still would have been incredibly low, but they would have been better than they would have been if we didn't. If we did, um, kill the Alamo Mola. But yeah. Seems like that's going to be game. We'll just keep going. Uh, I definitely wish I played a lot of this a lot better. Um, first of all, not bringing a Pokemon that could, uh, get rid of the, um set up Pokemon, so like not, like I should have brought Whirlwind on Gliscor, or just brought a different Pokemon that could do that. I maybe should have brought Ferrothorn for hazards, for more hazard support. Um, stuff like that. But yeah, and I misplayed a few times with the Terrakion too. I, when I saw the first Calm Mind on Terrakion, I should have just clicked, um, I, hmm, I don't know. I probably should have clicked. I should have clicked Taunt on Florges with Terrakion at some point. Uh, at one point that should have been. I don't know, but at some point, definitely. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of deja vu here with the. Um, this is looking a lot like the Mega Save Live versus Mandibuzz game. Of week one. Uh, but yeah, it was a good game. I did like if I if I hadn't crit that Charizard with Gastrodon, I would have been in a much worse, uh, far worse shape as well. If he if I hadn't gotten that crit there, he probably just sweeped me. I potentially could have. I could have switched to Sableye and then clicked Sucker Punch. Whether or not that actually would have killed after the Gastrodon, I'm not sure, but I think it would have. After the Rocky Helmet, and at least 60% damage to the Charizard, I think Sucker Punch from Mega Sableye would have killed it. So we would have had, an, we, we would have had another out, but, um, yeah. This is content. I probably should just let him finish me off, but I don't know. I still have a chance of winning is the thing, and I don't want to throw that away just on the very, very low chance that it does end up happening. He withdrew, actually. Okay. We're going to get to see the Tyranitar's item. Ooh. What's Tyranitar's item? Oh, yeah. I'm going to take more chip damage. And just more damage as well. What's the item? Smooth rock. Okay. That makes sense. Just to increase sandstorm duration. And, uh. Yeah. There's probably stuff. No, oh, it isn't faster than this. Okay. Almost expected this to be faster than this, even if it was paralyzed. Ancient power. I hope he gets the boost from ancient power now, actually, after the, um. After the hacks I got on him. I hope he gets a little bit of uh, justice. Uh, 
Yeah, Ancient Power Tyranitar is very fun. It's unreliable, of course. Like, it's very unreliable, but it's a very fun strategy. It's very, very funny, very luck-based, very, very cool. I like it. That damage is racking up. I'm just gonna keep recovering though. <laughs> At this point, there's definitely no chance because I have to recover too many times. I can't, I can't beat this at this point. I want him to get the Omni boost as well. If he gets a boost here, that'll be very, very fun. I want to see that happen. I'm gonna recover again. Oh wait, he needs to get to sleep though. My guy probably needs to go to bed. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop being mean. I'm gonna just let him finish me off. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let him sleep. I will let him sleep. Start picking the list. I forgot you said needs to go to sleep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not prolong this longer than I have to. I can't win now. I'm gonna let him take me. After this next ancient power, we are going to be toast. Take me. Flamethrower, okay. That's a cool coverage move. That's good coverage for um, the Ferrothorn. And I die. I'm sorry, man. I should have let you do that earlier. I was still holding on to the hope that I was going to win. But yeah, there we go. Uh, GG's, Forza. That was a good game. Um, I I am quite happy that I managed to... Um, quite happy I was able to... Watch this face. Quite happy I was able to perform better. I almost managed to win as well. Um, due to his misplay. But you know what? It's uh, I don't think I really deserve to win after my horrendous plays with Terrakion and Gliscor. But I am happy with how I did even with just four Pokemon. But yeah, I do wish I'd played better. If I ever, if I do rematch you, Forza, I promise you my team is going to be better than that. Um, but yeah, Raindance Ludicolo did a lot better than I thought it would actually. I'm very happy with Raindance Ludicolo. I actually put in more work than I expected it to, which is quite fun. Um, you know, Raindance Ludicolo was very fun. I liked it. Um, it was fun. Uh, I feel bad for Terrakion and Gliscor because I had cool sets for them both. And I just didn't use either of them very well at all. But I'm happy with my other Pokemon. My other Pokemon all did very well. And I can't even blame these other two because it was my fault that they died as they did. Uh, but yeah. Gastrodon put in work. Good for Gastrodon. Uh, Gardevoir got to do some cool Thunder Wave Heal Bell stuff. Uh, Ludicolo got to do his Rain Dance fun stuff. And Mega Sableye got to be Mega Sableye. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for week three. Uh, we are now two losses, one win. I think with a differential of... Four, not minus four. I think we're with a differential of minus four. So we're going to be like near the bottom of the leaderboard, which is unfortunate, but uh, someone's got to be there. So we'll sit there for now, but I will be doing my very best to reclimb, reclimb the leaderboard and um, uh, take, a, take a top spot. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for me for now. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you all later.